Hello everyone. This is Geetha Priya from RMD Engineering College. In this lecture, we will be discussing about the vector data analysis overlay. So one of the type of vector data analysis is overlay. So overlay works with the polygons. So in polygons, in two or more uh, feature type will be combined together here to form an output. So when you are going to combine two or more feature class, both the polygon should be in a same coordinate system. If both the feature class, both the polygons are not in same coordinate system, this two cannot be used for overlay process. So in overlay, when you are going to combine two or more polygon from two different feature class, both the polygon should be placed in a same coordinate system. So when using overlay, it is going to combine the polygon when combining the polygon, it merges two data. One is geometrical data of the polygon, of both the polygon, and the attribute data of the polygon also. So when you are going to combine two polygon data, input 1, input 2, both the geometrical and attribute data of input 1 and input 2 will be merged together or combined together to form the output. So when you are performing the overlay operation, you will be getting the output of both the characteristics or both the attribute and geometrical features of both the polygons. So feature type and overlay. So when you are going to merge two polygons together, uh, it may be point and line can be merged or line and polygon or point and polygon or polygon and polygon. So when you are going to merge two feature type, that is a, it may be in, in our example, we have taken point and a line. So point in polygon we have taken an example here when you are going to merge or combine this two polygon the resultant output will be containing the geometrical features of both and also the attributes of the both but when considering the geometrical feature it will be taking the lower dimensional uh, feature type so when talking about the geometrical data combining the geometrical data lower dimensional feature type will be reflecting in the output of a uh, merged polygon so there are three types in a uh, uh, overlay the one is point in polygon point in polygon I dis uh, as I uh, previously discussed so the first polygon will be containing point here you can see a dotted line dotted lines should not be considered as a uh, case here for the understanding we are uh, given the dotted lines there but in the first input we have, cons we have taken only two points that is point 1 and point 2 coming to the polygon B you are going to have a polygon which, has, which is divided into two so in this input 2 you are going to have two polygons the polygon A and polygon B so these two are going to be combined together so when you are merging these two polygon uh, as we discussed in the previous slide the feature type when combining the geometrical data the feature type will be reflecting in the output will be the lower dimensional so polygon 1 is a point uh, geometrical type polygon 2 is a polygon geometrical type so comparing with point and polygon point is a lower dimensional so lower dimensional geometrical feature type will be reflected in your output so in the output you can see only the dotted line you cannot see a, a straight line or you cannot see a polygon there because when merging the geometrical feature of lower dimensional will be reflecting here but coming to the attribute data both the attributes of a uh, polygon uh, input 1 and input 2 are reflected here so in the po uh, input 1 the left side the left part of the uh, uh, polygon is 1 and input 2 the left part is A so completely in uh, resultant uh, output it is become as 1A and the right side is represented as 2B so when merging these two polygons geometrical feature is represented by using a lower feature type or lower dimensional feature type and uh, coming to the attribute part both the attributes of input 1 and input 2 are combined in the output so the next one is line and polygon as we saw before point and polygon here we are given a line one single line is given again the dotted lines does not represent anything it's only for the understanding so polygon uh, input 2 is a polygon which is two polygon polygon a and polygon b when you are going to merge these two input 
the same lower dimensional feature type will be reflecting in the output but coming to the attribute both the attributes of input 1 and input 2 will be combined so the upper part of the input 1 is 1 so it is represent upper part of the uh, result is 1a and 1b and the lower is given as it is because in polygon 1 we are not representing the data there or it can also be represented as a and b the uh, below part uh, the below part can be represented as a and b only the upper part of the data 1a and 1b will be combined the remaining part will be represented as a and b also the next one is polygon on polygon so here both the inputs are a polygon so here we, are, we cannot find a lower dimensional feature type both the polygons are uh, the same feature type so when you are merging polygon and polygon the resultant will be both will be combined and also the geometrical feature will be polygon and also the attribute data of both the inputs will be combined so in the input one the upper part is a the lower part is 2 so the all the uh, upper part is become as 1a 1b and the lower part is 2a and 2b only in the left input 2 in the left side you can see a and the right side it is b so this is how polygon and polygon will be merged together so there are certain overlay methods they are uh, by using the boolean connectors will be representing it as the and r and xr so and will be called as an intersect here and r is a union and xr will be represented as a symmetrical difference so uh, and by using union operation the same thing you are going to do here you are going to merge or combine two input data so here it is a polygon on polygon so uh, by using a union uh, boolean expression here uh, union will be preserving all the feature type so all the regions covered from input 1 and also all the regions will be covered from input 2 also so when you are uh, doing overlay method by using union all the input all the regions that are covered from input 1 and input 2 will be considered for the resultant data so the next one is intersect intersect is quite opposite from uh, it, it is not similar to uh, and intersect will be taking the area which are similar or common for both the input and input 2 so in union we have taken whatever the data uh, area represented in input 1 and input 2 everything has been taken there but coming to the intersect we are going to combine two uh, polygons input 1 and input 2 the common area for input 1 and input 2 will be taken for the intersection uh, overlay the third one is xr xr is opposite from intersection so intersection we have taken a common area of both the input but in symmetrical difference or xr we will be taking the common area of individual input so that is quite opposite from the intersection what are the common area for both input 1 and input 2 will be left out the remaining area will be preserved so this is about overlay and these are the uh, different overlay methods and R and XR. Thank you.